Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Hi, Freckles. Now there's some, some tricks to feeding animals. You don't want them impaling themselves on the forceps if you can, and you don't want them slamming into objects. Um, she's making it a little difficult. Okay, I see that I move aft. Oof. See what I mean? Arr. Sorry, girl. But in that position, there's. I tried to avoid it, but it didn't quite happen. I'm sorry. You want two Advil with that mouse for your <laughs> headache? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the way it goes. You know, it, if I even put it to her lips, chances are she'd still slam her head into the wall uh, and hit it hard. It's just the way they do things. Want that? What, it's not the right color? That female blue insularis is racist. <laughs> she will only eat dark rodents, not white ones. <laughs> that is her preference. Oh, you got a mouthful that's almost gone. How about you? Hmm. Well, let's check on these guys. U8. U8 as suspected. U8. U8. What about those guys up there? Up here, they just ate last week. So I'm going to let those go. How about over there? Um, they ate last week, too. Okay. So... She can have this one. Come on. Come on, get it. There you go. That's a good girl. Isn't she pretty? Yeah, yeah I've, I've seen people in South Africa and elsewhere, you know, handling these freely, as we call it. Uh, um, they say in, in many uh, accounts that unless you try to restrain them, they, they are very hesitant to bite. Uh, but I'm not interested in doing any of that. Yeah, I don't want to find out. No, no. Every exposure to, to snake protein in, into your body is a potential uh, allergic reaction. Um, yeah, these are getting old because the yeah, forceps are, are puncturing them. Let's see. You didn't no, eat that. Didn't eat. I'll leave him. He may. You didn't yeah. eat either. This one I know it. You don't even have to look. Hi, was that tasty, huh? Was that tasty? You want to try to force down another one? Huh? I know you'll eat. Oh, you're not quite done yet. Hmm. Well, let's try him. Come on. Well, well, I can 
hardly force myself to do this. <laughs> Come on, I, oh, I know I'm hungry, but this isn't quite what I expected. It's trying to drink all of it again. You, it guts are out. I don't want it. <laughs> we have picky feeders. They're so spoiled. I can find some garbage disposal, somewhere to eat that. So oh, well, Mr. Good. Brown, if you're looking for a garbage <laughs> disposal. Yes, Mr. Brown will make sure it works for that. Okay, so these are the ones that were eating crickets and now have moved on to pinks. I'll leave it. We'll see. Hello. Hello. Oh, you just made a beeline for the back of the cake. Yep, yep. These guys are not quite uh, ready for prime time yet. Here, you want to try that? Oh, <laughs> well, that looks like somebody's looking to eat. You can always tell the ones that really want to survive, and the other ones are questionable, huh? You want that? See what I mean? Mm -hmm. A survivor. Okay, so... those across the way. Hello, Mr. Brown. I was sleeping. Wait, 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 what's going on? <laughs> oh, what's that out there? <laughs> oh, he is just such a nut. Substrate? I don't care about substrate. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 there's gotta be more. Ooh, he's got guts on his head. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> he doesn't care. Yep. Oh, are you hoping for more? Well, he's always hoping for more. You're teasing me. That was just a barely a taste. All right, we'll give him these two. They're so fast. Mm. Fast and insane. Yeah, that too. Mm. Would you like this to eat? Mm. Huh? If they don't eat this tonight, you have to go try to find some pinks tomorrow. 
this hmm? oh no <laughs> it's an ew Okay, Mr. Lapsoidia is ready to rock here. This is the African garter snake, the Lapsoidia sundavali. Hi, bud. Just shut out. Hello. Uh, maybe freaked him out with the camera. Oh, no, no. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. That snake is, uh, is very much uh, a feeder. Uh, this is an elapid. This is not uh, your run-of-the-mill garter snake. Uh, this is a, a lesser elapid that's found in uh, Africa. Its, it's venom is relatively mild for an elapid. Uh, I don't think there's any fatalities. However, you never underestimate the power of venom. Uh, now he may be weirded out by the camera. Um, or, you know, it's hard to tell with this guy. He may be just waiting to make sure that it's dead and mm, the rat or mouse, whatever I gave it, is not going to struggle. So we'll, uh, we'll just close this up and let him or her do her thing. Uh, this is a bit of their shedding. Uh, her shedding is very paper-like compared to Mr. Forest Culver, which is fairly heavy. There's not much pigment there. It's just pretty much a clear coat. Uh, very interesting shedding. It, it's very interesting all the differences between all the different sheddings uh, that's, that the snakes have in my collection. Alright, so here we have a death adder. Taking a swim. Oh, and a big dump. Hi. How are you doing? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, huh? There you go. <laughs> uh, I got what I want. Go away now. No happy death adder even. This was the reluctant feeder of uh, my holdbacks for that bunch. Ah, here goes the happy death adder. Um, she was small, very difficult to start to feed uh, compared to her sister, which is, who is much larger. Um, but she seems to be doing very well now. Uh, definitely a, a, a pretty snake with uh, interesting coloration. I bred two red stripe just like this uh, and got this. Um, this is an F2 generation. It is a, let's see, it is a great granddaughter to Big Mama in the other room. And we'll just let her do the happy death at her on her own. Hi there. Are you gonna lure, huh? Are you gonna lure? This is a rough death adder from Papua New Guinea. 
as opposed to the smooth death adder from Papua New Guinea. Oh, we got the tail going. There it goes. There we go. Okay, so when we see the tail going, it's caught alluring. So we have to uh, go ahead and make believe that the uh, prey item is attracted to that lure and, uh, and give it a reward uh, so it does it again in the future. Uh, these were uh, bred by my friend Dr. Bob Harrington, uh, who is no longer with us. Uh, so I have uh, two of his animals sort of as a, a legacy to him. Hopefully I can find some unrelated ones to breed them uh, to uh, so the bloodline can move forward. And this is the female specimen from Bob Harrington. Hi. Yes, I am very cautious. I don't want her hanging off my nose. Oh, the tail was just starting. You know, I try not to encourage them to strike out of the container. That's why I'm hesitant to, uh, uh, to put put it near the front here where it might come up and over just to elicit a, a feeding response. Um, it's just, it just makes for a lot safer situation. Uh, they don't try to launch themselves up. Uh, uh, of course we already have enough uh, things like these bothrops that I'm about to feed that will launch themselves through the air with the greatest of ease. This is a painted lance head, a bothrops stiporus. Oh, hi. I think this is the boy. There you go. Raise these from, uh, from babies. Uh, these aren't produced by me. Matter of fact, I think they came out of Europe. So, the male is unrelated to Miss Bobbitt over there in the other cage, and uh, theoretically, I can uh, breed the male against the female and have unrelated uh, uh, babies, which is the plan. Hi, this is the female. She looks like she's just coming out of blue. Right, you want that? These are very, very nice uh, little uh, bothrops. Uh, they don't get too big, and they're generally not very dangerous or rambunctious. They're pretty controlled compared. Uh, controlled and bothrops usually are not used in one sentence, but in this case, it's, it seems to be the case. Um, okay, so now we get to something on the opposite end of the bothrop spectrum. This is a Jararaca, bothrops Jararaca. These guys are long lanky missiles hey not the hand that feeds you there you go that's the right idea <laughs> I don't know what it is but they you know what it is probably my hot little hands which you like to, me to keep off you during the summer months because <laughs> it makes they make you sweat you know it's like you know they're they're just radiators they are they're like little hot coals during the winter it's great during the summer it's like no <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the way it is okay so this is another jararaca the opposite sex of the other one just shed yesterday very quick these are the snakes that the uh, ACE inhibitor type drugs were developed from a component in their venom, uh, but these also <laughs> cause lots of bites and misery to the inhabitants of their range, which is mostly Brazil. Uh, 